Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you want to know how to how you get from this roll of film to results like this, um, this might be the video for you because today I will show you how I develop slide film at home, which is pretty easy. And before we jump right into the video, let me show you this year my brand new zine 28, where I shot um, Kodak Vision 3 200T in Cairo with my Leica M6. And the zine is out now and today is the last day you can basically pre-order it and save like 50% of the shipping cost and also you have the chance to win a signed print and yeah check it out the link is in the description box down below. Earlier today I developed a roll of slide film and let me quickly show you how I did it. Okay guys here we go. Here's my changing bag and my tank with the reel inside. So it's actually it's pretty warm in here, so this will not be the most pleasant experience. But it needs to be done. Okay, so the film is now in here and yeah, it's time to pre-wash the film. And I've already prepared some water here. It's 38 degrees Celsius, roughly. Okay, now it's time to wait and in the meantime, let's prepare the chemicals. I heat up the chemicals in a water bath and to regulate the temperature, I use the Sinistil TCS 1000, which works pretty well. For checking the temperature, I use an electronic thermometer I got it from a drugstore and it's meant to be used to check if someone has fever, but it also works great for this kind of application. The first time I developed some Fuji Provia, I was really amazed by the color that the water had after the pre-bath. It's time to start with the first developer, which was heated up to 38 degrees Celsius. I keep rotating for roughly 15 seconds and then for 2 to 3 seconds a couple times a minute. Since I already developed some rolls, the first developer should be in the tank for 6 and a half minutes instead of 6. So, let's pour the first developer. I'm now going to rinse this in the bathroom. It's also a good idea to quickly rinse the funnel as well or use a different one for the other chemicals and clean it afterwards. It's time for step number two, the color developer number two. I basically do the same thing like with the first developer. It's at 38 degrees Celsius, but instead of six and a half minutes, the second developer will be seven minutes in the tank.
Now it's time to pour the color developer number two. And again, I'm going to the bathroom to rinse this. All right, guys, now step number three, and that is the really nasty stuff. So let me prepare my table for it because the bleach will leave stains if you're not careful, and that is pretty bad. The bleach needs to be also in the tank for seven minutes, and the temperature is at 36 degrees plus minus three degrees, which is fine. Okay, now let's pour the bleach and be careful a little bit because, like I said, it's pretty nasty. Okay, last time I will rinse this and I'll be back soon. All right guys, on to the last step. And the last step is uh, the stabilizer. The stabilizer wasn't in the water bath. That's because uh, it should be around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. And that is pretty much room temperature. So I don't need to warm this up, which is pretty handy. So it needs to be in here for uh, one minute and I'm going to rotate the whole time. Okay, that's pretty much it. The film is now developed, but I need to do this first. I can hang it to dry and that is uh oh I can already see the photos holy okay first I need to put it in this old salad spinner here and get the film dry all right that's it let's get this out of the way first and yeah, oh my God. Okay, I can okay. already see it. Here are the photos. All right, I will now hang the film to dry and uh, I will see you later. All right, guys, as you just saw, it's very simple to develop slide film at home. It's pretty much the same thing as developing C41. It's just one additional step. So if you develop C41 at home, you can easily develop slide film as well. If you wanna see the photos that I just developed, Stay tuned because there's a video coming out where I took those photos and you will see them in the video. And don't forget to pick up my kyrosine. And if you have further questions, drop them down below and we will see each other in the next video. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.